Are you serious? Are you serious? Get some coffee, everybody. Calm down. But the uh, what we have here is a uh, a situation in uh, Houston. Houston's got a crime problem now. It didn't take long for the looting to begin and the criminals to try to take advantage of people not being able to be in their flooded homes. There are already outbreaks of violence. An influx of evacuees and crime outbreak has begun. Houston strained under the arrival of tens of thousands of people fleeing the submerged homes and flooded roads uh, are now faced with an outbreak of looting and armed robberies that have forced a midnight curfew now. So already Houston is going under martial law. Uh, it's not been declared as martial law as of yet, but it's certainly, uh, when you have a midnight curfew, that's basically what's taking place. So the city opened the, the George R. Brown Convention Center over the weekend with a plan to house 5,000 people and be run largely by the American Red Cross volunteers. But the center's size quickly doubled. 10,000 people arrived, only 5,000 cots. People streamed in from areas south and west of the city, and despite promising two more mega centers uh, by uh, to yesterday, Houston only opened one at a basketball arena and two smaller centers. Now, some of the shelters have already been flooded. And I've seen where uh, now it's, it's so this is becoming a major issue. They, they proved too little for the county officials who set up their own location as an outbreak of looting and armed robberies then began prompted the city to order an indefinite curfew from midnight to 5 a.m. Houston police chief said late Tuesday individuals impersonating police officers knocking on doors in at least two parts of the city telling residents to evacuate their homes, saying it spent days trying to coordinate an emergency plan with the city, the federal, and the county officials. And according to Harris County officials late last night, they decided to open a separate shelter for 10,000 more people at the county's owned exhibit hall. The Red Cross was pretty much overwhelmed. The county's chief administrator, Ed Emmett, said at a news conference late Tuesday. And after joint efforts didn't come together, Emmett said officials decided we can't wait. We need to get this done. Uh, the county owned exhibit hall, the NRG Center, was opened at 10 p.m. last night. Emmett said it would be staffed in part by members of the National Guard. More than 3,000 Houston homes were underwater. Thousands more were threatened by two levees, two reservoirs swollen by an estimated 35 inches of rain in those areas. And in another part of South Houston, the levee broke uh, Tuesday morning. And the county's chief administrator urged the residents to get out now. Mandatory evacuation orders are everywhere, including Galveston and Fort Bend and, uh, and those counties. And we're continuing to see, folks, this insane situation. We've not seen rain like this. We've not seen a storm like this. This is a biblical proportion. And you have to start worrying about disease. Because the waters, the sewage systems, everything is backing up and starting to float up to the top. Um, what do you do now? Okay. And you have to start considering, you got to look at the disease potential. Cholera is a real possibility, believe it or not. So could other uh, pathogens and diseases. Uh, as long as people are drinking fresh drinking water, bottled water, the, the, you know, that, that'll help a ton. But you still got airborne uh, bacteria that will start to rise as the sun gets hot, as the rain goes away, as the waters slowly recede, there's still a lot of stuff floating around. So we got we to keep a close eye on what's going on. A lot of prayers going up, a lot of, lot of focus right now. So please continue to do that. Pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ down in the Houston area and all of Texas 
and all of Louisiana as things begin. And then Mississippi, you're next. So we'll watch the storm. I'll be back with more. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also, Periscope, new live stream will be on, Roku Satellite, YouTube Live, Blog Talk Radio, everywhere. We'll be on everywhere. 12 noon today, 10 p.m. tonight. You don't want to miss it. Big day of broadcasting. See you guys in a little bit.